Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. How are you doing, my Cancers? I hope you're out there being safe. Please, with everything going on right now, please be safe. For a lot of you are going to be very sensitive. Um, and you're going to be absorbing a lot of energy. So take the time to step back when you need to. Disconnect when you need to. Because it could be overwhelming for you guys, okay? I do get conflict. I feel like some of you may be dealing with conflict where it's almost, um, you know, not having a meeting of the minds. Now... I did see this kind of with Aries. Some of you could be dealing with um, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, for some of you, this could even be air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I feel like there may be a lot of um, miscommunication with some of you. So be really careful that you're not so quick to anger or get your feelings hurt because it could just be miscommunication and with a lot of things going on right now we see a lot of it i think we have a lot of planets in retrograde that especially deal with communication and it's almost like everything is being misconstrued turned around it's just all over the place you, you turn on the news you see it so don't um don't be so quick to cut things off with people um if, there, if, 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 if you feel that there's something that's able to be salvaged because of miscommunication is kind of what I'm saying. I do feel that there is, um, for a few of you, something going on with wanting to be healthier, wanting to be more fit, more, wanting your mind to be more clear. So I think some of you may be trying some new things when it comes to taking care of yourself. Um, this could be spiritual growth too. I feel like some of you are... You're, you're seeing things, you're picking up things a little bit more and you're like, uh, you know, I need to, I need to get my head right. So don't, I feel like a few of you may, you know, go into yoga or go into, um, meditation or, you know, things that maybe you haven't tried before because you're looking for some type of balance to come in with things in your life. I do feel like there's some travel that's coming in for a few of you. Um, this could be on a plane. This could be in a car, you know, bus, train. But I do feel like some of you are going to be traveling out. Could be visiting a love. Um, I get something with um, secret rendezvous. So maybe you you have somebody and they maybe they have somebody. Maybe you have somebody. This could be two people that are married that are trying to go off and see each other. Or maybe... You're dating somebody that other people wouldn't accept, so you're kind of sneaking around. But I definitely get secret rendezvous. Some of you may be connecting with somebody of a different race or a different culture. They could be biracial. Um, for a few of you, this person could be married. You could be married. But I'm, I'm getting some type of sneaking around thing that's going on. Um, cancers. I do feel that there is... Um, Possibly some conflict that's going to be coming in. Some of you just may be finding out that somebody you were dealing with is seeing somebody else. I keep getting a phone call to you from, um, say you're cheating with somebody who is married. I feel like some of you may be getting a phone call from their significant or uh, other. Either a phone call or a text message. You know, they're coming in and it's like, okay, you know, I found this message on my husband or my wife's phone. Who are you? And you're like, oh, shit. I feel like there's going to be some type of conflict that comes in. Um, some of you might be purposely reaching out to somebody significant or other and going, you know what? Hey, I'm here. You know, you didn't know about me, but I'm here. Be really careful with that because I do feel conflict coming in. Um, a few of you are going to really feel like you're beat up by conflict. Um, you could have somebody that comes at you in a really negative way. Um, if this is somebody else's husband or wife, you may you may get an earful from somebody when it comes to their relationship. Um, I'm also getting something with maybe putting yourself out there a little bit more in the spotlight. So this could even be on social media. Um, you know, my sister's a cancer and she's been sending me all the TikTok things. And, you know, she's like, we got to do TikTok or with my niece or whatever. So... Some of you could be using that platform to put yourself out there. Not that platform, something else on social media. You could be a reader. You could be an entertainer. You could have a podcast. But I feel like there's something where you're, you're, you're putting yourself out there and you're showing your creativity. Like, this is what I do. This is what, um, this is my passion. So I feel there's something coming in 
where some of you really are going to be moving towards something with social media, maybe possibly making money off of this where it's like, okay, you know, you know, subscribe and let me, you know, let me get paid or, you know, follow me and let me get paid. Cancer, cancer, cancer. If this is not you, you could be meeting somebody with status. I am getting that there's something coming in with a person and it could be, um, excuse me, y'all. I don't know why my eyes itching like crazy. Probably the cat hair. Some of you could be connecting with somebody who has status. Maybe you're traveling around and you run into somebody. Maybe you made a connection with some type of celebrity or status and, and that could be what secret. Some of you could be dating somebody or trying to get to know somebody who's in the public eye. You could be in the public eye. And you're like, you know what, I like you on the cool, but we can't be seen together because, you know, I got all this other stuff going on. I don't want people to know I'm out there like that. Or either I'm married and I don't want people to know. So I do get something where there could be an age difference with either person coming in or this person could have a celebrity status or you could. All right. Cancer, 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 spirit. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's see what we got. Oh, two of wands. Let's see. Three of wands. Eight of cups. Seven of cups. Judgment. Justice. Three of coins. Eight of wands. Ten of wands. Five of blades, nine of cups, knight of cups, six of coins, and nine of cups. All right, cancer, cancer, cancer. Definitely feel like if you're in business or you're working or you're connecting with a partnership, some of you definitely are making long-term plans. I feel this is spotlight to me. Two of Wands sometimes is a partnership, connecting with somebody um, and maybe growing a business or working with somebody and growing a business or taking advantage of an opportunity where there be, may be another person involved with it. But I feel like if you are connecting with somebody, this could be a relationship or this could be a power couple coming together and building abundance, long-term plans. For a few of you, this could be something that you're starting. Like I feel like social media where you're like connecting with other people, maybe you're combining channels or you're working with somebody and it's because you're producing something that you expect to bring in long-term income or long-term longevity. Um, this could even be a job. Some of you may be worried about um, jobs or money coming in. You could be unemployed or furloughed, but I feel there's a few that are creating something. Like, let me, let me put my money into something. Let me invest. Let's, let me look into something else that brings in money and longevity. So you could have a friend that comes to you and go, hey, I got this really great plan. Let's look into it. Whatever it is, I feel like there's this need to move forward and it may be with a partner, whether this is a romantic partner or this is somebody that is a good friend or just somebody you kind of came in contact with and you want to move forward. Now for a few of you, you could be connecting with somebody that you work with. Be really careful because this person could be married. I feel like if you're dealing with somebody who has some type of status or position, they may have another person. This person may make really, really good money and you know, you don't mind um, spending time with them. You may work with them, but I feel like that they're connected to somebody else. And that could be where that secret relationship thing comes in for some of you. So if you, if you know it, cool. If you're involved with this person, you know that they're married and you're okay with it. They're okay with it. You know, do your thing. But for some of you, you may find out, you know, maybe you're working with somebody you didn't know that they were involved or they were married and you're like, okay, what the fuck? I do feel for a few of you, if you do find out that somebody is um, married and you don't want to entertain that, you're going to move on. With the Eight of Cups, sometimes this is not being happy in an environment or a situation, depression. Now, for some, this could be with a person. Maybe you find out some information that, you know, you didn't know and you're like, okay, can't do this. I got to move on. I don't do this. Some of you, I feel like this is depression, your environment that you're living in. You could be living in a house where it's not clean. Things are not put in order. 
um, you know, sharing space with other people, roommates, and they're not really doing their part and you're like, I don't want to be here. Or this could be you just being depressed. Maybe you're in a situation where you just don't want to be in it anymore. It's not making you happy. This person's head is down. They're feeling down. But the, if you look, the door is open and there's a path that brings you to some type of illumination. So for some of you, <coughs> excuse me, if you are in a house where you've been quarantined, maybe with people, maybe by yourself, and you've been depressed, you've been irritated, you know, um, spirit could be saying, you know, get out, get out, go do something different, change your environment, walk, you know, go walk outside, go, go do something. For some of you, this is just, um, you may be overwhelmed. You may be overwhelmed. I remember, I can't remember what group it was because I took myself out the group. But this woman posted a picture at the, probably when we were into week three of this COVID-19 thing where her house was just chaotic. It, food was everywhere. Clothes were everywhere. And she, she was saying in the group, I just can't get it together. I just, I'm so depressed. I can't clean my space. And they just went ham. You know, you're dirty, something's wrong with you, you have mental issues. And I kept thinking, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? She wasn't the only one that was feeling this way. A lot of us went through this where it was like the days were blending in and we were like, you know, I'm getting up and I'm not doing shit. And I'm, you get on Facebook, people are dying all around you. This was real. It is real. So for some of you, you might still be in this energy where you're depressed. Don't let people... Um, make you feel bad we all have been there we all get there and I, I think people tend to forget sometimes you know that they've struggled so when they watch somebody else they're like i don't understand what's wrong with them yeah you do you just don't remember it but we've all come to this we've all been here so if you are in this situation and you need help reach out reach out to friends reach out to organizations social media i wouldn't even fuck with it because you got a lot of people on there that they're just gonna fuck with you and make you feel worse for some of you, this may be even needing to be, you know, in therapy. But if you're struggling, the door is open. There's a solution. There's something that you can walk towards that is going to illuminate your path. And it looks like a beautiful beach down there. So I feel for some of you, you just need to get away. You need to re refocus on something else and come out of this, this environment. If this is too much for you, come out of it, okay? Now, I do get the judgment card next to it, which makes me wonder if some of you are feeling judged. You know? Are people talking about you, gossiping about you, making you feel some kind of way? For a few of you, you could be doing the judging. You know, why they like this? You know, why they nasty? Why they don't do things? You know, I don't like the way they do this. It's a general read. It could go either way. But I do feel like there's something where either you're looking at somebody with disgust, like, ugh. Or they're looking at you disgust like, ugh. One way or the other. Some of you could be um, judged because of mental issues. You know, oh, you know, you're, you're having a breakdown and people are looking at you. I mean, shit is happening. Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. But if you are caught up in this, don't worry about what these people say. Take care of you first. Definitely feel that there's a need for change, Cancer. Some of you, if you are in a very toxic or chaotic environment you don't want to be there with the seven of cups this is almost you know having a ton of ideas and a ton of things that you want to do and things that you want to be different but you're maybe all over the place with it you know you, you're not focusing you're having a hard time focusing and if you're depressed or you're in an environment that's really toxic it may be making this harder that could be why you are all over the place i feel like you want to do something different some of you may be even, um, you know, revving things up in your environment because maybe you want something to change. This could even, I feel like even for some, this could be protesting. Like, let me just poke him a little bit so I can make my point. So some of you could be doing this to a person, doing things that you know they want to prove of, but it's like, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm going to poke at you. This could be them doing this to you. You know, I'm going to do it anyway because I want to see, I want to see what you're going to do. If you're in this energy, I feel like a lot of you have to move away from it because it could be overwhelming. With the 10 of um, wands and then the five of 
blades, we have arguments, conflicts, somebody being overwhelmed. And I think we saw this last month, Cancer. So some of you are still in this environment where you're like, I need my own place. I need my space. I need to get out because I am overwhelmed. I'm tired of arguing with people. Now, for some of you, this could be conflict at work. You know, maybe you're having an issue with somebody that you work with. You could be overwhelmed. They could be overwhelmed. That could be where the miscommunication comes in too. Where it's like, you know what? you know, I'm trying to say something, but you're not getting it. And the other person is like, well, you're not getting it. And then there's this overwhelming feeling and we got conflict. We got people that are pissed off at each other. I can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. I mean, with everything going on right now, we definitely feel it. This could even be the energy. You may be feeling, like I was saying at the beginning, some of you are very sensitive and it's just like everything is heavy. Everything feels heavy and there's conflict. And maybe you're you're... You're trying to avoid it, but you're, it's, it, it's coming to you and you feel overwhelmed with it. Normally, cancers don't like conflict at all. They don't. They don't. I think the only water sign that really gets into conflict is Scorpio. Pisces doesn't like it. Cancer doesn't like it. Scorpio will cut you, slash your throat, not even think about it. It, it, it is what it is. But I do feel like some of you are dealing with conflict and you could be in a situation where you're overwhelmed with a friend or an environment and it's like, I need to go ahead and get out. We have the Eight of Wands. So some of you could be getting good news coming in with the Nine of Pentacles and then with the um, Nine of Cups. Maybe you're trying to find a house. You're moving out, trying to look for an apartment. You want your independence, want to live by yourself. Because we got two different things. We have this environment and we have this environment. Some of you are in this environment and you want this. So you're waiting for this for this news to come in. Oh, the apartment is ready. Oh, you got approved for the loan. Oh, you're, you're pre-qualified. Some of you are waiting to move out of this situation and move into something that gives you more independence. I do feel that it's coming. Um, a lot of you, I think, are trying to get your money right, which comes in with the three of coins. Six of coins, some of you could be taking out a loan, could be getting a bonus, could be getting some type of um, uh, loan that comes through from either a job, a friend, money coming in. Some of you might even be working overtime. I do feel like too, with the justice card, for a few of you, this could be unemployment, stimulus check, something coming from the government. So some of you may be getting some type of assistance to help you move forward. A few of you, this is just, you're really hustling. You're picking up a job, you're working with other people, and you're trying to get your coins up. But I do feel definitely money coming in, trickling in. For a few of you, this is unemployment. For some, like I said, this could be a bonus or taking out a loan, a business loan or something to keep your your business or something, your enterprise moving forward. We got people building on something. So maybe somebody is remodeling. They're taking out a business loan so they can remodel their business. Or they're taking out a loan just to keep their doors open. If we look at it, this person is happy. The money's coming in. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Because even though this person is in a fur coat and, and all this stuff is going on, there's chaos all around. We got... Homeless people at our feet. We got Santa Claus. It's like, you know, the kids are going to need money. We got somebody else with a cup out there saying help. So some of you may have money coming in, but you're spending it on maybe the wrong things. Your priorities may not be, um, may not be set. Be careful of emotional spending. You know, I'm just going to spend it to make myself feel better. I'm going to go buy this fur coat and this fur muff or whatever it is. But I could be using the money somewhere else to make more of a difference, especially if you're trying to get a house or something like that. I would say, watch your spending. Watch your spending. She's just throwing money out. There's no rhyme or reason to it. She looks good, but she's just throwing money out. I do feel that some of you may even be loaning money to people. You know, maybe somebody's coming to you and they're saying, can you loan me money? Some of you may be in a position where you have a little extra money coming in and people are like, you know, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I have? 
she could be dropping this in people's coins uh, in their buckets and things like that but I still see these people looking down so you may have some people that you're trying to help out but they're not grateful they're not happy maybe you're taking care of some people and they're not happy with what you're giving them because she's dropping one coin some of these people are kind of like what I only get one and cancer's like hey look shit I had to pay for this goddamn meat coat can't give you all my money for some of you, this may be a loan coming to you that you don't feel is enough, but it is a loan. I feel like for a lot of you, because of the Nine of Cups, if you're trying to save a business or something like that, you could be taking out a loan and some money, and it's showing celebrations, Nine of Cups, getting something you wish for. For a few of you, I do feel like this is unemployment, some type of payment that's coming to you. A few of you, this could be a settlement that's coming in. Maybe you're waiting on some money to come in so you can have this independence. For a few, I feel like this is starting a business. This could be a business loan where you're trying to open something up. Nine of Cups is saying you get something that you pray for, you wish for. And for a few, this is moving out of a toxic environment, getting your own place. For some, starting your own business. And for a few others, saving your business and making it grow. Whatever it is, Nine of Cups is showing that you have something positive that's coming in that is going to take you towards a little bit more money and independence. I do feel that there's a younger person or a person coming in where there may be an age difference because we have the the Knight of Cups, which is normally a younger Cancer or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you could be connecting with somebody who is um, water like you and, um, you know, they're trying to get to know you. Could be a little bit younger than you. For a few of you, you may be the younger one and you're you're having somebody older who's chasing you. I definitely feel that this may be something that you weren't looking for. Some of you may have somebody who slides into the DMs or PMs and you're like, okay, I wasn't even expecting this. Who are you? You know, are you mature enough for me? What are we what are we trying to do? But I definitely feel like there's new love coming in. Some of you are already in a relationship with someone when this person comes in. A few of you, you may be dealing with a person who's married. Um and this is something that you're exploring. A few could be walking away from a situation where they're dating somebody who's married or has other people and it's because you have a new prospect on the horizon and you wanna go ahead and take a chance with this person. I do get legal issues this month. Be careful if you're protesting. Um, you know, definitely bail money. You know, make sure that you, you're wearing the proper attire. And, you know, there's so many different things that they're putting out there now. How to maneuver if you're protesting in case you get arrested or how not to get arrested. But for some of you, you could be dealing with a legal situation where there's arguments. For a, a few, I feel like this may be something about a settlement. Maybe you were supposed to get more money or the money was supposed to come in and, and they're dragging. They're not, it's not coming in the way that, that you thought it was. I feel money's coming to you, especially with the Six of Coins. This is a payment. This is something that's going to be paid to you. For a few, if you're fighting for unemployment, something's approved. If you had some type of loan that's coming in, something was approved because you have money coming to you. For a few others, I feel child support or something with the legal system that may have to deal with kids. You know, money needs to come in and take care of these children. Some of you definitely could take a partner back to court. And that could be where this five of blades is coming in because I do feel arguments. Now, it could be arguments about money. Maybe somebody's asking for more money. Like I said, I feel like some of you may be helping somebody out, but their, their hands are still out. Give me more. And you're like, oh, I gave you enough. Or you maybe somebody's like, you know, you needed to pay your rent, but you're not paying it. You know, we're going to file evictions on you. And you're like, no, no. You know, or let me give me more time or let me, you know, let me work something out so I can pay a bill. But I do feel some type of situation with a legal thing. Um, feel like filling out paperwork could be a house. Definitely, too, that's coming in because I do feel like a loan. Some of you are looking for a house or looking for bigger space because you're literally trying to get out of a toxic environment. You're, you're done with it. You're done with it. You feel overwhelmed. There's conflict that's coming in. You don't want it. You're ready to move. You're waiting for some money to come in. So I feel for a few, all you, you're like, okay, 
let me move forward. Let me let me go ahead and do what I need to do. And as soon as my money comes in, I'm out. That's for sure coming in. For a few of you, you may be um, you may be furloughed, but I feel like you still have money trickling in. Like I said, it could be unemployment. Some of you are actually creating a business. You're starting something up. You know, you're moving forward. Maybe you figured this was the right time. I don't want to work for other people. I want my independence. I want to be an entrepreneur. If you're working for a company or you're starting your own business, with this three of wands, somebody's looking towards abundance, something solid, making long-term plans. You know, I need stability with this. This is almost exploring options, but kind of like putting your stake into the ground and saying, okay, this is mine. And this is where I'm going to be and I'm going to build on it. So I do feel that way. And for a few of you, this could be coming in with a partnership. Somebody else is going to help you. Cancer. Some of you might definitely be partnering up with a friend or a lover to bring in more money. Now, let me pull from Madame Endora's fortune telling cards and see what other messages. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What do we have for the cancers? Any messages, spirit? Any messages for cancer? Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Some of you, you could be receiving news from afar now. We have air. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You could be dealing with somebody who's going to send you a message that um, I feel may be confusing for some of you because it's showing your imagination clouds your judgment. So you may have some information that's coming in from somebody, but you're a little bit confused about it. You're trying to figure out what's going on. Definitely feel like there is miscommunication. And for a few of you, you may not understand what this person is trying to say that could cause some conflict. For a few of you, though, I feel like you may even be traveling to deal with somebody who is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. For some, with this imagination clouds your judgment. I feel like you may be seeing something that's not there. You may be getting riled up over something that is not happening. If this is not you, this could be the other person. But I feel like... Um, I kind of get like a jealousy where it's like, okay, you know, you were supposed to call me. Are you doing this? Are you seeing someone else? Or are you starting a business without me? Or are you, um, I just kind of get something where, where there's trust issues and spirit is saying you may not be seeing things properly. So before you go off, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, think about it. Is this what I'm really seeing? Is this, am I making this up? Am I triggered by something am i confused about what i'm seeing and if you are then you may have to look at it with a different perception because it's saying that imagination clouds your judgment you may not be seeing something correctly news coming in this could be somebody who lives long distance this could be a love interest this could even be with a job i do get good news about a house or a move that's coming in for you too so for some of you, you may be relocating and you're getting the final go ahead. But for some, I feel like this may be love interest. This may be something, but maybe you're seeing something wrong. Spirit is like, you know, be open minded. Don't don't be so quick to jump. And I think I saw this in Aries reading too. So I'm wondering if it may be a fire sign that you're dealing with also. But I get a lot of air. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius where there's something that may need to be talked about. But when they talk to you... And you don't understand it before you go off and your mind says this is what they're saying take a step back and be like okay you know let me repeat this back to you to make sure that we're on the same page that I'm taking this the right way and I'm not jumping ship or going overboard on something that you're not saying be really careful a lot of planets in retrograde communication is is complicated there are going to be conflicts because of it and if it doesn't have to happen then, you know, take the step back and say, you know, let me let me figure this out and then we'll talk about it. So that that way you're not involved in conflict, especially if this is an environment where you're living with people and you have to be there. You know, let's let's talk about it. I don't want to keep arguing. I don't let me understand where you're coming from. OK, cancers. 
All right, you guys. I think that's it. I love you. Be safe. 